Hello, True Brilliance here, and in this video, I am going to talk about the 10th house. Now, the 10th house is a pinnacle of our existence. It is the top of the mountain. It is the final point that we are trying to meet in our life. It is the basically what we're working our entire lives for. It's this crowning glory of what the 10th house represents, and... The 10th house represents worldly power, it represents ambition, it, it represents your career and what you do in the world. But not only does it represent what you do in the world, it represents who you are in the world and how you are seen by others. Um, it's a public house, so it has to do with being in the public eye. Um, someone or an archetype that would represent the 10th house would be someone like a president or you know a huge uh, uh, R&B singer or a really famous rapper or um, a talk show host or you know somebody that is in front of the public eye a lot and who is always um, always being seen and who is looked upon as someone that people look up to or someone that people um, emulate and so your 10th house has to do with your purpose and it's also a very spiritual house because it's deeper than just your career that you do at work or something like that or your job. It's deeper than that. It, it's actually your purpose, like your purpose and your job being put together and making a difference in the world, impacting others, impacting people on a mass level. So when you have planets in the 10th house, you are going to have kind of a responsibility within the world. You are going to have an elevated status in the world because people with very strong 10th houses, people uh, pay attention to them, you know, a lot. They respect them. They admire them. They hold positions of responsibility. They have to take care of other people. They are looked up to. Um, so it's a very serious house, and it's of course it's ruled by Saturn, which is a very serious planet. It's the taskmaker. So usually people that have strong 10th house emphasis have to go through a lot of trials and tribulations in their life in order to reach that pinnacle, you know, the top of the mountain. Um, they usually have to go through a lot in order to get there because there usually is a strong purpose in their life or a very strong calling on their life. Um, and Capricorn is the sign that rules the 10th house. And it has to do with making, you know, a difference in the world and making an impact. 10th uh, house also has to do with what your legacy is going to be in the world. What are you going to leave behind after you pass on? What is your legacy going to be? What are people going to remember you as? Because we live our lives here. And yes, we live our lives day to day and we enjoy you know, the finer things in life, or we just enjoy to be with our families and things like that. But everybody wants to be remembered for something. Everybody wants to make their impact on the world. Everybody wants to um, be known for something great. And, you know, some people end up achieving it and some people don't. But that would depend on what your definition of success is, because people's definition of success is different. But with the 10th house, you're definitely working towards something, trying to make a difference, and leaving your mark. It's really what the 10th house represents, and it, it definitely tests your endurance. It tests your character of who you are as a person, because you're probably going to be put through, you know, some trials and tribulations um, to get there. But what that does is that that builds character, and it makes you a stronger person. And it makes it so that you have a story that you can share with the world and for people to look up to you and take your life story and use it as inspiration. Um, so, like I said, if you're like a politician or you have some type of political power and whatnot, you hold a lot of power in your hands. And when you have worldly power, you know, you have a lot of people's lives that you're responsible for. And you have to be mature, you have to be wise because the 10th house represents worldly wisdom as well because you're not going to be able to be in that position unless you have been through some things, unless you are a wise person. Um, it also deals a lot with your spirituality, 
what your beliefs are, um, and basically, like I said, what you want to leave behind, what the message is that you want to deliver. So that's my interpretation of the 10th house, and leave your comments below if you have questions.